because you go yes. around every day. You see people every day. I do. On an ordinary people. Yep. Does it ever surprise you when you see some of the things coming out of, out of the Republican Party in Washington from the floor of the United States Senate or the floor of the United States House of Representatives and that it seems to be so far astray from the ordinary needs of ordinary people? Well, Mike, I would tell you that I, th I would broaden that. Um, almost everything that I see that comes out of the floor of Congress from both parties shocks me. And I think what you've seen in Congress is that, you know, people are in both end zones, you know, and, 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 and there, nobody's playing in the middle of the field. Nobody's trying to get things done. They're yelling and screaming at each other from both end zones. And so I will tell you, you know, I see stuff that comes out of the Democratic Party on the floor of the Senate and out of the floor of the House of Representatives that shocks me as much as stuff that comes out of some folks in the Republican Party, and sometimes even more. Uh, so I think that, you know, the fact is, that you need someone to take some leadership down there. Um, and I'm, I'm disappointed that the president hasn't done that either. Um, you know, I heard you all talking on the way in about, you know, his early parts of his charm offensive. You know, the charm offensive should have started in January of 2009. And, and the fact that all of a sudden now we're in January, or we're, we're in June, rather, of 2013, and we're just talking about a charm offensive and trying to get to know Congress, your fifth year of the presidency. You know, it's kind of a little bit late in the dating game to start to get to know somebody. Hmm. We're not going to get you to announce.